Despite being a beloved and impressive instrument, the violin has an interesting history that spans back to the 1500s. The oldest violin, the reason strings were once produced from dried sheep intestines, and the amount of money the most expensive violin in the world sold for, these are just a few of the most intriguing facts about the violin that have come to light over the course of its history that are covered in this video. I think there are some facts about the violin that you will find interesting, whether you are a violin student or a violin music aficionado. Presented by AWZ What do animal guts and the violin have in common? Violin strings used to be made of solid metals with steel strands, not always synthetic materials like they are now. In fact, using animal intestines to make violin strings used to be the norm, from sheep gut, specifically. Although they are undoubtedly constructed from intestines, these strings, known as cat gut strings, were never actually produced from cat guts. Since they are still being produced, you are welcome to get a pair and try them out, but be ready to pay a hefty price. Cat gut strings offer a considerably richer and more pure sound than the metal strings we use today, despite sounding comparable. The most popular strings used nowadays are made of solid stranded steel or a variety of other materials. They are occasionally plated with silver or gold. It's not a violin, it's a fiddle. Have you ever wondered what makes a fiddle different from a violin? You are right if you believe it to be the same instrument. Contrary to popular belief, fiddle is not necessarily connected with folk music or American bluegrass. It was once utilized by classical musicians as well. For instance, Mozart's father Leopold refers to the violin as a fiddle in his book about violin playing. The violin dates back to around 500 years. That's true, the violin we use today was created by renowned luthiers Giuseppe Guarneri, Antonio Stradivari, and Andrea Amati about five centuries ago. These rival violin makers produced the instrument that, with some modifications, became the modern violin that we know today. Some of the most expensive violins in the world are their original instruments. Thankfully, playing an instrument equivalent to what soloists play today doesn't require spending millions of dollars. In the same city, the contemporary violin was created for centuries. In keeping with what was stated above, the contemporary violin that we all know and recognize today was invented in the Italian city of Cremona in the 16th century and continued to be developed there for the next 500 years. Knowing that violin manufacture and violins essentially originated in the same place as the instruments is an intriguing historical fact. Although there are several locations in the globe that produce violins, Cremona is regarded as the violin's birthplace. The tiniest and largest violins ever made. Did you know that the tiniest violin in the world has a length of 1 cm, 0.4 in? Chen Lianji, a musician from Guangzhou, China, invented the instrument, which has extremely thin strings that are unplayable. The largest violin in the world measures 14 feet long, 4.3 m, and 4 and a half feet wide. It was created by 15 artisans at the Voigtland Masters of Violin and Bau making in Martinkirchen, Germany, 1.4 m. The German firm is currently the owner of the biggest violin Guinness World Record thanks to the 17-foot-long, 5.2M, bow. The origin of the word violin. Our term for our four-stringed instrument really derives from the medieval Latin word vitula, which originally referred to the goddess of pleasure before becoming the term for a female calf in modern usage. The Latin term vitula eventually changes to fides slash vigula, then violin and fiddle, respectively. So now you have some evidence to back up your claims if you wish to call your instrument the fiddle, as Mozart and his father may have done.
Will the $16 million that make up your total be paid in cash or credit? Yes, the most expensive violin in the world sold in 2010 for $16 million. The newest and most expensive violin in the world, called the Messiah by Italian violin maker Antonio Stradivari, is projected to cost $20 million, shattering the previous record. The violin has grown to be both incredibly popular and quite expensive in the 21st century. It's fortunate that not every violin is this expensive. Good violins can cost anything from 500 US dollars to millions of dollars. The violin family is enormous. The violin actually belongs to a larger family of stringed instruments. The family includes a variety of lute, zither, lyre, and harp varieties in addition to the violin and viola families of stringed instruments. The violona, viola di braccio, and violoncello are the other members of the string family that are most widely known. Violin practice burns calories. You may not have realized it, but playing the violin involves some minor exercise. Violinists often burn 170 calories per hour while practicing, which is comparable to the amount of calories burned during a leisurely hour-long walk. It's not common to think of classical music or playing an instrument as exercise, yet playing the violin requires a lot of minor muscle movements in both the left and right hands. If you've ever played the violin, you understand what I mean when I say that it's an easy workout, but it still has a positive impact. It is time well spent and fun to burn 170 calories every hour. Two hundred horsehairs. Each violinist's bow has 150 to 200 strands of horsehair that have been coated in rosin. Horsehair is required for violin bows in order to cause the string to vibrate and produce sound. We occasionally lose one or two hairs while playing the violin. It's fortunate that there are about 200 hairs left over because if not, we might need to keep several horses nearby. The Violin, a Wooden Swiss Watch A violin requires around 70 wooden pieces to be assembled. They are often made of maple or spruce wood. The glue is what unites the violin as a single instrument, in addition to the wooden components in various sizes and shapes. One of the most fascinating violin facts is that the glue used in violins isn't just any glue. Rather, it's a unique glue manufactured from fish, horses, or rabbits, skins and tendons are used. Musicians of the Titanic Wallace Hartley, the first violinist and conductor of the RMS Titanic's musical ensemble, a 33-year-old Englishman, made the decision to play music to calm the passengers on board as the ship tragically sank in 1912 after colliding with an iceberg. While it's impossible to say for sure which of their final compositions they played, many Titanic survivors remember the group playing nearer, my God, to thee as the ship sank. There are plenty additional fascinating violin-related facts. For instance, did you know that before it gained popularity as a classical instrument, the violin was used to perform folk music? The list may go on forever, so I'll stop here. However, feel free to add any other violin facts that you think are particularly fascinating or amusing in the comments section. This is all for today. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe our channel. Stay tuned with AWZ.